I'm a um, irrigation specialist, start working last year. So well, nice to meet, you, nice to meet you all, you. Um, and but today I'm going to talk about some of what are the irrigation tools out there that we can use to improve water use efficiency. And speaking of the climate variability, it's important to know what the current moisture level in your soil. So by knowing this, um, you know you can determine how much and when to apply your irrigation. So, um, so. In general, there are two types. The one is weather-based irrigation scheduling tool that is driving by the weather data, so mainly evapotranspiration. So um, the evapotranspiration um, can tell you how much water has been lost from your potato field. Um, so where do we get the evapotranspiration the, the values? Um, one way we can get it from the MSU Environment Weather Network. So there are over 100 weather stations in Michigan um, and they all station provide uh, uh, evapotranspiration value. So you can go to the closest uh, weather station from your field and download uh, um, the evapotranspiration values. So uh, one thing to keep in mind, the, the ET, the evapotranspiration value from Inbar Weather Station is the reference ET. So that's uh, assumed uh, based on the four inch high grass, uh, well drained soil, uh, and the shade area. So what you need to do is you have to multiply the crop coefficient um, to get actual crop uh, evapotranspiration values. So we have a handout we'll share later, but we got I got a poster right here. This figure shows the crop how the crop coefficient changes over time. So the red line is the um, what the crop coefficient level at you know, at young stage and the as as potato develops it uses more water, requires more water, and when it goes to mature the harvest area, um, um, the stage, it uses less water. So you can multiply the reference potential, um, the ET times the crop coefficient at the stage to get the actual crop ET values. So, so you know, having knowing the crop ET value is important because that's the amount that you can put it back to your soil to provide enough water to, for the potato. I want to mention your MSU Irrigation Scheduler program uh, is the Excel, Excel Microsoft Excel based uh, spreadsheet. Um, all you have to do is input uh, your, your crop um, and the soil type and you have to pick the closest to environment weather station and it will automatically download um, the evapotranspiration and rainfall and, um, and what you need for the scheduler, um, the software. So it's kind of automated system so it's, it's pretty handy to use it. You can download the program through our BAE, uh, MSU BA irrigation website or MSU uh, extension irrigation website. The another type I want to mention is the sensor-based irrigation scheduling tool. Um, it's, it, it's based on the soil moisture sensors. So the soil moisture sensor estimate and measure the, how, much value, how much moisture in your soil. And we typically recommend put at least one in the, within the root zone um, and another one in the below the root zone. So um, having one below the root zone can estimate or tell you whether you over irrigate it. So one example right here, the green line here is the within the root zone and brown is the below the root zone. So as you see a spike right here uh, means after irrigation the moisture level picks up, um, goes up and, uh, and go down um, after a while. And one thing I want to point, the brown line right here, the below the root zone, also spiked after irrigation, means that you, um, there's, um, it was over irrigated. So this bottom is perfect example that shows within the root zone, green line spike, but the brown is flat. So you didn't over irrigate it, and, but you, you apply uh, enough water for the, uh, for the roots, uh, root zone. Um, multiple sensor will be good. Um, so we typically put um, three, two or three soil moisture sensor within the root zone to calculate uh, more uh, precise how much moisture in the soil profile. Uh, we have extension bulletin that how you can um, use the soil moisture sensor data to calculate the, um, the uh, how much you have to apply and when to apply. So you can check our website as well. Um, so, well, last thing I want to mention, when you install the soil moisture, make sure, uh, you know, you, you install pretty firmly. Don't try wiggle or, um, you know, make sure that don't create the air gap between the sensor and soil. Uh, it requires really good, uh, uh, good, good fit uh, and good contact between soil and sensor. So just keep that in mind. 
Um, so last year, I just want to I just want to mention. So use the irrigation scheduling tool for uh, for improve irrigation water use efficiency, and also um, you know it can help you to uh, understand what is going on uh, in your potato field. So with that, uh, well, any question about the scheduling tools? Sure. Weather, um, can we get an app? Have you talked about had any discussions about this tool and somebody being able to access it on their mobile device? Right. Uh, well, in fact, um, well, we are we are, we've been working on um, developing the low cost uh, real time data system. Um, so I think we have we have five stations right here, one in the heat shelter, um, um, and that send the data to the real time uh, well that sends the data to the website so you can see how much water moisture has been changed over time um, and and also we have been putting equation to um, provide um, the recommendation irrigation amount um, so we've been testing with the summer farmers um, that is ongoing um, but it will be great to in, uh, and and we also been um, talking about uh, incorporate with the by weather network so yeah I hope we'll uh, work together in the future and make it happen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.